hello guys welcome back so in this section we are going to allow the user to register that is to create a brand new account so for that purpose we will need a model class in order to handle the user data in JSON formats from JSON to JSON so anyways for that purpose right click on lib we will create a new folder by the name models then right click on models new dot file and we will create by the name person so class person so first of all we have the let me add here a comment user personal information which include the name copy paste this six time one two three four five six then we have age phone number city country for file heading and looking for in a partner then we have appearance height weight body type then we have lifestyle and here we have all these attributes you can say variables and then we have background and cultural values variables or you can say attributes one thing in the personal info is also the user profile image so you can also add that so you can say image profile and then also we will have one attri one attribute or you can say one variable for the time the publish that time that is at which time the this specific account is created so inside the personal info we can say integer published that time and please use the same spellings for these variables by the same key names we will save the information inside the firestore database okay so please go ahead with the same names same variable names anyways now in the constructor of person we can one by one add that that is starting from image profile up to here so we can say this dot image profile then copy paste this 29 times for the remaining ones for example and now after the image profile we have name then edge phone number and then remove these last two okay so up to ethnicity from image profile up to ethnicity as you can see these are 28 attributes total from image profile to ethnicity so in the constructor of person we are receiving it and then now here we will implement static person from data snapshot and this will receive one thing as a parameter that will be the document snapshot snapshot which is the data which we will receive from the database you know that it is in JSON format we have to convert it to normal format that is we can access it with the help of our these attributes names now how we will do it step by step first of all the information we have to receive which will be using the snapshot object we are receiving here inside this so we can say snapshot dot data as map string dynamic
and that data we will assign to a variable we will give it name as data snapshot then we will return return person So the information as I told you which we receive from the Firestore which we will receive of course we will write query and get the retrieve the information from the Firestore database that information comes in JSON format. So the reason why we have implemented this model class is so we can convert that data to normal format and we can access it by its variable name. So what we can do here we can simply say data snapshot at for example for the name we will get the name we will get the name from the JSON format and we will access it by its variable name which is name then put a comma for example the first one was image profile then name then edge so for the image profile please use the same key names okay that's why I told you to also give the variable the same names so you do not get confused later on So the image file from the JSON, the image link we will get from the JSON and we can access it by this image profile in our project. So let's copy paste it for the other ones and we will set it for that as well. So for example now after the name we have edge. then we have phone number then we have city up to the ethnicity if you want to add comments for example for the personal info in the constructor up to the published date it was personal info this make more sense I mean you can easily then recognize what is the personal and other information height weight, and body type and then we have lifestyle from drink to relationship you are looking for so yeah and then if you want to add comments here as well then you can do that personal info this way you can easily I mean understand this as we have a large of personal data about the user for the appearance it is from height to body type Now this was when we want to get the JSON data okay, and access it by its normal format or you can say by its attributes name. For example image profile from the data snapshot we can access by its variable or you can say by its attribute name. The edge we can access 
from the JSON by its attribute or you can say uh, variable name and so on up to here up to ethnicity this is from JSON now what about to JSON if you want to convert our data to JSON so for that purpose we will implement map string dynamic to JSON it will convert the normal data to JSON format and where we will basically need it when we want to send the data for example when we take took input from the user on the registration screen in the text field the user provide name age uh, profile picture all this information so it will use our in string format which is a normal format which is not JSON so in order to save it to the first or database we will first convert that data to JSON that is with the help of this to JSON we will save it inside the database as you know that inside the Firestore database we save the information in JSON format okay it will be sent as a JSON to the Firestore database and it will be saved there however when we want to retrieve data then that will be from JSON that is in a, we have to convert it the data retrieving part is in JSON format for example we want to retrieve data from the first row database so when we retrieve it it is in this format that is in JSON format okay as it is in JSON format so we convert it to normal proper format that is we assign it or you can say we can access it by its variable name name from the JSON can be accessible using name variable image from the JSON can be accessible by its variable image profile and so on from for the edge phone number and so on however let me tell you again when we want to retrieve it is coming in JSON format and when we want to save so when we have to save then first we have to convert the data to JSON format and then save it in the Firestore database or you can say when we want to save data to the Firestore database with the help of these two JSON we can save it inside the Firestore database okay the difference is when we want to retrieve it is coming in JSON format and we convert it to proper normal format you can save with its variable name we can access it however when we want to save the data that is when we send the data to the first store database for the purpose of saving storing the information so first we convert that data from the normal format we convert it to JSON now here we convert from JSON to normal format and here from normal format we are going to convert it to JSON format that is using these two JSON we will send it to the Firestore database in order to save it now how it is simple here for example the JSON the name okay we have first we have the image which is by the key name image profile okay make sure to use the same key names the value of which is this is JSON format okay for the the key name the key name for storing image so the key name is this and the value of which is inside variable image profile okay so we are you can say converting it to JSON form for the image profile value the key name will be this in the database Firestore database for the name value the name value will be stored by the key name name inside the Firestore database and similarly for the other ones so for the time saving I will just copy paste this quickly so after the name we have edge then phone number then city
so this is all about two JSON and make sure to put a semicolon here at the end for these two JSON okay so this is all about our person model class